So we've done a lot of installs with these Unify camera systems. We've done a lot of videos about some of the larger installs we've done, and we're pretty happy with them, except Unify made a decision last year to stop development, stop further development, I should say, of the Unify Video 3 software. Now they do have, and I commented a few months ago in hoping something would change, and it still hasn't as of mid-2019 right now, it's almost September, and we're committed to supporting existing UFV3 installations. The Unify Video 3 will continue to receive uh, security updates, bug fixes, and support for any new G3 camera models, but the, and the software will remain available for download on our website. But what I'm talking about here is they're pushing their new Protect system. But, <laughs> this is back to the butt again here, um, Unify Protect is just not as robust of a system. I was hoping they would develop more. We were hoping they would allow us to run it on our own hardware. Currently, it only runs on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And despite the marketing title here, simply scalable video security, and don't get me wrong, the interface is wonderful on it. I like the product in terms of the interface, but you know, it's not really scalable. And why do I say that? Well, when you can only run it on this little box here and put a single two and a half inch uh, SSD hard drive or SATA hard drive. I said SSD because when I did the testing and I was using 4K cameras, I realized right away the system wasn't very fast with 4K cameras at all, trying to keep a you know standard spinning hard drive in there. So we put an SSD in there, but then SSDs are pretty expensive and still that's single hard drive. And what about you know hooking it up to external storage? Well, they don't have the clear support for that. I know it's running Linux. I know how to mount Samba shares on it, but now I have a single network port that I'm you know, trying to inbound all the data and send all the data back out to like a share to send it to some RAID array, you can see how this turns into kind of a messy project right away. It's not smooth or clean. So it's not that we're not recommending them. It's just when people say, I want like a 20 camera system, well, well, they've stopped development on the UV3 software uh, that you can run on your own hardware and you can't run protecting your own hardware and they don't have another device to do it. So I don't have a solution that Unify can fit for those customers. And because of that, we have been moving over to Synology for a lot of our equipment. And we've already done some really nice installs with the Synology systems. Now, the first thing I like about Synology is the question comes up all the time. I need to pick an NVR, which one, which cameras, et cetera, et cetera. In the Unify world, if you gotta build the hardware yourself, we have to spec out the hardware to support the number of cameras. Synology makes this pretty easy. You'd put in a number of cameras with their MVR selector, how many days of storage you want, uh, how much recording, whether or not it needs HDMI output, et cetera, et cetera, and a solution list will pop up, including if you only are a small person with five cameras who only needs maybe uh, 14 days of storage and we'll hit recommend. And they have some pretty basic options like the NVR 1218. And the NVR1218, we've actually put a few of these in small offices. Yes, it's only a two drive system that supports up to 12 cameras. Pretty basic, but pretty basic price too. 199 without the drives in it over here on Amazon. So they're pretty reasonably priced. And they have a feature that I really wish that I was hoping Unify would eventually, even with their Protect line, had a solution for. People want these put on a TV. Well, I know Chris, I believe, did a video on how to do this with an RTSP stream and a Raspberry Pi, but now you can see you've built a project that you have to support as opposed to plug in HDMI cable, connect it to TV so they can watch their cameras. Synology has that option. And for the larger NVR installs where you're talking about like 100 cameras or something more advanced, they have entire kits that will plug into the NVR via network interface and remotely watch them on a TV. They basically create their own system so it has a direct interface for TV or you can just watch them on the computer very easily with a Windows tool that you load on there. So they've got solutions for a lot of different scenarios, hardware solutions or software solutions. Now, Synology also supports some of the more advanced things like they have here, a built-in analytics module when you use some of their higher end models like this MVR DVA3219 that comes with an NVIDIA GTX 1050. And it's got options for, you know, watching and understanding where things are. Uh, this is for a no idle zone notifications. They have other integrations they can do. Uh, this is some people counting options that you can expand into. And it's more than just an MVR. It's also a NAS box. It's also all the other features that you get with Synology. And I know someone's already mashing a keyboard, getting angry because going, but there's license fees. And you're not wrong. Unify gave away their software for free. 
but with the Unify Protect, it's tied to their hardware. And with the Unify Video, although you can load it on your own hardware, it exclusively supported Unify cameras. Not necessarily a bad thing for a new install, trickier to do a retrofit because we are doing more and more retrofits to people who have existing systems they want to expand on. They don't always like being told they have to throw out all their existing cameras. And I did a deep dive into the Synology Surveillance Station software and they have a amazing number of cameras they support. So you can use a lot of your existing camera installations. You can mix and match cameras and have uh, many different types. But their licensing fees that they have for them, they're one-time fees when you add them to the surveillance station. They're not recurring. You're not paying them every year annually, uh, like a lot of other, you know, some of the commercial NVR systems. And we have worked with some of the commercial systems and they are nice as well. They are a different use case, but many of them do have recurring fees that you have to pay annually to keep the system working. Synology does not do that to you. Synology also, we verify by reaching out to their team you can transfer licenses. So if you buy 10 licenses and put them on your NVR and you go, wow, we want like, you know, 50 more cameras, which we also need a bigger NVR. Synology has support for that. They also make it easy to back up the data, put it somewhere else, provided you have enough storage to do so. Uh, they have a lot of synchronization tools by, for example, buying another Synology and say, hey, I want to duplicate this data because it's really critical because of compliance we have to do for keeping all this data and keeping all these videos and copy to another one. Synology's made a lot of that easy. It's not that I have anything personal against Unify. I just wish they had a clear upgrade path that I could sell my customers. We're all about selling solutions. We're not committed or focused to any one company. Our loyalty to a company goes as far as the company keeps developing the product. If the company doesn't develop the product, I can't recommend the solution. I have to find a solution that makes my client clients happy and works for them. So it's still a good uh, system. If you want to do a small office with, you know, four or five cameras with a Unify Protect system, I wouldn't say not to do it. But if you're going, I want four today and 50 tomorrow, I don't know when the Unify Protect system, if ever, will support that. It's not there's not anything I found in their blog post that I've been able to discover. If someone can find something that they've put on there, but I'm right on the Unify website right here in end of August 2019 and not seeing it. And we still have those systems out there that seem to work perfectly fine that we've done these large installs for, and they are up and running, and Unify has stayed true to their word of sending out security updates and fixes uh, for them. So we have been loading the updates and the systems have been working. But, you know, I just don't feel comfortable selling someone a product when Unify themselves has pretty much said, yeah, we're not continuing the development path of the UV3 software we're really focusing on Protect. Well, when they come up with a, a better solution, maybe we can put some more of those in if the Unify Protect can support more than one drive and be loaded on hardware or even having a really nice server option for that. Until then, we're going to stick with recommending some of these Synology stations because they're actually been a better fit for some of our clients, especially with the fact that they can use so many of their existing cameras. Uh, that kind of makes it a lot easier to sell uh, 20 more cameras when you don't tell them they have to rip out their 20 existing and just add 20 more. That includes some uh, one-off devices you can hook up. And we're gonna be doing some videos on this about uh, retrofits. And we've now done some for some clients and it's kind of impressive. Uh, we've also done a few you know, native installs that are brand new with Synology. Uh, we're waiting because after we, we like to do a lot of testing. I don't like to do reviews that, the day after I install. So waiting a few months is kind of better proof to me to show you that yes, these are some quality systems. And we've had one client that's been running it for about two years that's been really happy with it. Uh, we just were really hoping Unify's path would go a little bit further along uh, than it has, but it hasn't. So I just wanted to release this video to kind of talk about that, my thoughts on where we are in mid of 2019 and what we've been doing for recommendations for camera systems. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.